。回りました。回りました。はいこんにちははじめまして私の名前はシャラですえっ、ー、と現在東京の方でアーティストとして活動していますえっ、ー、と私の新曲「ランダムアスワイトガーが、えー、と今 SpotifyAppleMusic の方で配信できるんですがえっ、ー、と曲を TikTok に出してからすごいあの皆さんのおかげでバズってえっ、ー、と二人のとても素敵な女性の二人に、えー、と曲のテーマ「日本の美の基準」っていうコンセプトについて今日お話をしたいと思っています、えー、とその前に、えー、と今日の撮影現場そうそうおでん銀座にあるそうそうおでんさんにまずありがとうございます<笑>ねあのすごくおしゃれでえっ、ー、と温かいおでんが食べれる、美味しいお酒が飲める場所なので、えっ、ー、と、皆さん、銀座に来てください。Yeah. で、私の右にいる方は、とても特別な友達。現在、日本に活躍するモデルのきほこさん。きほこさんは、えっ、ー、と、ヨーロッパの方で、たくさんの有名なブランドのキャットウォークとかを歩いた。とても素敵なモデルの女性です。<笑><笑>で、私のさらに右側にいるフランキー。フランキーさんは、えー、と南アフリカのケープタウン出身で、現在日本でタレント、そしてライターとして活躍をしています。で、カメラ裏の人たち、皆さん、よろしくお願いします。ま,す<笑><笑>えっとまずあの、今日のテーマなんですけど、えっと、私ずっとイギリスの方で、えっと、プロダンサー、振付師として活躍をしていたんですけど、えー、と去年、コロナの影響で日本に戻ってくることになってで日本に帰ってきてあれ、今まで気づかなかったずっとイギリスに住んでて気づかなかったことは1つあってでそ,れそれが、えー、と美に関する時の看板、ビルボードなどがやたら白人のモデルを使うなっていう風に疑問を感じてでそのコンセプトについて私は曲を書いたんです。でその曲を出したときに彼女たちが私に DM をくれてそうでいろいろ話をしてくれたんですよモデルの業界はこういうことがあるんだよとかテレビタ,あのタレント関係とかこういうのがあるんだよっていうお話をしてくれて2人がでこれをもっと多くの人に知ってもらいたいなと思って今日ここで集まっているんですけどこの曲は本当にさっき言ったようになんでこんなに白人の人を使うんだろうな歯医者さん、美容室、えー、と整形、肌の、えー、と広告、ジム、外見を良くする、そういった、えー、とビルボードの看板、いつもよく白人の人使うなって私は思ったんですけど、日本に帰ってきた京子の意見もすごい聞きたいので、京子はどう思う正直、まあ、日本とヨーロッパでモデル業をやってて日本のまあファッションショーとか、まあ、日本にある外国人エージェンシーとか、うん、なんかやっぱりこう扱われ方が違うなってオーディションの数であったり、うんうん、なんかそういうのはやっててすごい感じるなってその白人さんハーフあとはの枠と日本人枠でオーディションとか分けられてたり忙しさとか、まあ、マネージャーさんの話とか聞いてると。全然量が違うんだなっていうのを感じて、えー、ます。うん、<笑>えっとで今日はえっとフランキーはえっと英語で今日話すので、if you could tell me what you think your your approach on this question one hundred percent. So Eurocentric features tend to be set as the beauty standard all around the world,、mm -hmm. and the way that is reflected in countries where white features of the minority shows just how prevalent. How white supremacy or white privilege works、yeah. all over the world.、Yeah. So, even coming from South Africa,、mm -hmm. it's only in recent years that even our own local people see more representation in our own media.、Mm -hmm. Or, even things like our hair, our native hair,、um, there are only recently more products available in the widespread chain all around the world. So, coming to Japan, It wasn't a surprise seeing white people on the billboards because I've seen it even in African countries. And you see even discussions online on them. 
you know, Indian models and stuff like that, how that same system works in, in their countries. So it's not a surprise seeing it in Japan, but I think it's something that needs to be discussed because it has such broader implications and it impacts everything from job opportunity, nepotism, um, dating, why people get seen as more beautiful. So therefore you're more likely to chase after a white partner. I mean, we've seen it all the time with, uh, uh, you know, there's a, white partner and a Japanese wife and <laughs> that tends to be the, the trend as well mm -hmm. and it's almost like a, a prize that your partner is white mm -hmm. um, and it gets impacted through the media yes and that's why it needs to be tackled yes <laughs> yeah absolutely and the reason why I wrote this song is because I want conversation yeah. and I've noticed as just a consumer the best way to have people talking is you know you might we might watch a Netflix TV show yeah separate locations and you're like oh did you see that TV show mm -hmm. and you go, yeah 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 and we start talking about it if there's a comedian and you know he did a great he or she did a great stand-up comedy it people talk and I've noticed that art is an excellent tool for people to talk and that's one of the reasons why I made this song and here we are today and thank you for bringing up the fact that we need to talk about it because I strongly feel the same way. Now, um, I want to tackle on the topic of um, work. まず基本こうから、えっと、その日本のエージェンシーだとえっと、もちろんお仕事、あの、キャスティング誘われるよね。誘われてて、でもその白人のモデルだと違うとかそういうのってあるのかな。違う。まず、なんかその海外でオーディ
actually include those races. Yeah. Whereas at the general approach, um, Guy Kokojin casting <laughs> is white, mm -hmm. even if they don't say it. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah, a lot of casting calls also just specify it. we want a white guy, we want a thing. Yes. And, uh, I see these casting calls because I'm friends with them or I'm on forums with other um, foreign talents and it won't even be for an ad that's like set in France or set in Europe. It will just be, uh, we want you to wear a t-shirt mm -hmm. or we want you to be an IT guy, we want you to be a teacher and it has to be uh, a white guy because they've been set as the standard which means it almost elevates their brand yes. to be associated with white yes. guys. So 100% they get more jobs. Mm -hmm. Random ass white girl, random ass white girl. Everywhere I look, there's a random ass white girl. Hi, the Ima Kara, I know TikTok, no, I know, Doga, or Pushta Tokini, I know, Taksan, no, Commento, I know, 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 あやじ03073コメントありがとうございます。<笑>えっと、外国人モデルの方が安く雇えるからって聞いたことあるけど、ガチなんかなハテナマーク。えっと、基本法にこれを聞こうかな。<笑>まあ正直、現場では私はいくらモデルとやらないルールはあるけれど、うんうん、そんなことはないとは正直思うし、もう聞いた話っていうことでしか言えないけど、まあ、モデルを起用しなきゃいけないそういうカメラマンさんとか考える人たちがここの事務所のこの子を使うとすごい高いからだったらっていう話をまあやっぱ聞くと必ずしもこのコメントではないと思うだそうですかわいこちゃん<笑>だって無料ではないし安くもないと思う<笑>でも確かにあのたまになんてあのなんてフリー素材あのあストックメディア英語だとストックメディアって言うんですけどフリー素材とかたまにあるそれは多分エージェンシー所属してない,てないその契約そのこの子を使う肖像権がない子だったらそういうのはあると思うけど、まあ、それは確かに発生しないけど、うんうん、そのこの子をどういうふうに使うかっていう契約を結んでるモデルさんを使うんだったら、うん、それは事務所が管理してて定義が必ずあるものだからそういうことはないと思うあのごめんマジ関係ないけど喋り方すっごい好き<笑>、うん、かっこいいよねかっこいいよね<笑>はい、じゃあ、フランキー、I wanna ask you this question.、Right. So, Claire Monroe, えっと、at the SAR underscore S00R, thank you for your comment.、Um, and she said, unfortunately, like almost every country. So,、um, I know you touched a little bit about South Africa.、Um, would you mind,、um, what, what, regarding this comment,、yeah. do you think that's true? Do you think that's false? 100%. So, even if you go onto Netflix and you type in,、uh, You want to watch a romantic movie about interracial couples, you'll see that white is set as the standard. You'll see a white person and an Indian person, a white person and a black person, a white person and a Japanese person, a, a white person、mm. and a, a native Colombian person. I'm not sure the、mm -hmm. racial differences there. But、um, yeah, it, it sets them as the standard. So even in moments where you want to talk about activism or modeling or jobs, you'll see that whiteness will always be there, set as the standard. So you'll see it in English teaching. White English teachers are more likely to get a job because of their skin color and less because of their ability to teach.、Uh, you'll see it in dating.、Uh, white people are more likely to get partners from other ethnic backgrounds、um, than. You'll never see like a love story between an Indian girl and a Japanese guy making blockbuster headlines.、Uh -huh. Or a Nigerian、uh, guy and a Chinese girl. You, you wouldn't see that. It's always the white person who's set as a standard. So it is an international problem. And that's how white supremacy works by、mm -hmm. setting itself as the norm. And many people are blind to it because it's been so localized.、So、it's been no. Yeah. Say that. Sentence one more time, please. Everyone's been blind. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Sorry it was so good. It was so good. One more time, please. One more time. What did I say? I was in the zone. Everyone, everyone is blind because it's been normalized. Yeah. But people are so blind to it because it's been so normalized. Yes. And it's gotten to the point where when we talk about white supremacy, people freak out because they literally cannot imagine a world without it. So they see it as us attacking 
white people. Ooh. They say there's us attacking whiteness uh -huh. instead of just wanting actual equality. Yes. And you see it especially in campaigns where they're trying to advertise for uh, they're trying to advertise for diversity. There mm -hmm. still always needs to be a white person present. Mm -hmm. It can't the way that you can get magazines just with white people, but if you get a magazine just with black people, then it's like fighting back or hurting white and it, it, but it, is that but, seen a lot in South Africa for example I mean yeah even even in South Africa we're, we're only 20 this is we're only 28 years young the country of South Africa mm -hmm. as a democracy coming out of apartheid it's mm -hmm. only been 28 years mm -hmm. so my entire family lived through being told they were less than that couldn't sit on benches as white people couldn't be in the same train car couldn't enter the same door as a white person that's that's not the entire family i grew up with yeah. people forget how recent that history was yeah. and that the people who were in power then who grew up and who were had their minds formed by them are still the people in power yes. today yeah. and it's a global thing I, I just want to say i'm so glad that you're here today thank you you thank you <laughs> <laughs> So this one is from Luna at Luna.milka09. Thank you for your comment. Luna wrote, this is so true. In Japan, there's so many pictures of random white male or women, not even like a model, just a random looking white girl being a model. Now, I want to um, send this one over to you, Frankie. I've heard from other people, like if you're white and you might not be a model in where you come from, but you can model in Japan, um, but let me hear your thoughts. One hundred percent. So uh, there is this whole conversation around this that the people of color that I know who are really good models in Japan, they're modeling for really top brand names and everything. They are the international standard of what a model looks like. You look at them, and there's no doubt they're a model. You don't see that same thing with white people. So a lot of the time by being white by default, they're considered more beautiful. So if you are a person of color, you need to be at 100%. Whereas if you're white, you only need to be at 50 or 60. And to quote someone, when I joined my agency, I joined it with this, this other guy that I happened to meet. And he admitted to me, if, if you look at him, you wouldn't consider him a beautiful white person. He got, all these jobs modeling because I wanted a skinny white guy. If you're skinny, you have to be skinny. That's, a bit. that's skinny another and white. Topic that's another topic in Japan. Skinny and cool. white, he was getting like from the moment he signed, getting huge, huge deals, like Damn. with a lot of money. In back in his home country, he would admit he would never pull these hot girls, get these jobs. It's only in Japan, and yeah. that's coming directly from him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean. I, I believe you because I'm, I'm obviously living in Japan I've seen a lot you know and being yeah, yeah a, around a lot of non-Japanese people yeah. like I've seen a lot of things random mass white girl random mass white girl everywhere I look there's a random mass white girl you go at you on the guinea and all catwalk fashion show to cut they are not taxan katsaku still jump they so no nihon no tokyo fashion week to cut it えっと、さっきあの、一緒にね、話してくれたじゃん、<笑><笑><笑> 19年の春夏とかだと、で、それどの写真教えてんのかなってちょっと数えてみたときに。そう。44ブランド中日本人のアイコンと日本人の写真モデルさんも写真として使ってるのは17しかなくて、他は日中。じゃあ、じゃあこれ日本の日本の東京
、白人またはハミックスが二十四ブランドとか、もう半分以上がその写真を使ってる。そのまあコロナになる前だから、ここできる時間時期。あれ日本人に服、まず売るつもりでラムやってないのかなってちょっと思ってしまうような。<笑>結構 TikTok のコメント欄で、<笑>あの、うん、本当にマジ参考にならんのだわとかっていうコメントとかめっちゃ笑われて、<笑>そう、本当にそれなんだよね。うん、クライアントは誰なのっていう。まあ、そうね、うん。そうね。すごく、とすごい若い白人の赤ちゃんみたいな感じの顔の子は、すごい起用されてる。傾向がある国ですね。うん。そうですね。<笑>はい。<笑>なんでこんなにいるの ？So thank you if you don't mind sharing、uh, with me like some experience you've had in, in Japan. Oh sure. Yeah. My own experience. So I wrote a poem and I performed it through the、uh, Tokyo Poetry Journal Modeling in Japan,、mm-hmm. and it was all about my Side thing for me, it's not what I've dedicated my life to at the life of the writing and being behind the scenes.、Um, so, for me to still experience this and have it affect me, I can only imagine how it affects people who want to make this their career. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. <laughs> so, I remember、uh, back in 2018, my first job shooting a commercial. I shot with this guy, he's been a model in Japan for over 10 years, and he's a white French guy. And his advice to me was,、uh, You might be pretty. In your country, but you're not the pretty that Japan was. And I don't think he was being offensive. He was generally trying to help because he knows that if you go to any foreign talent agency's website, they only advertise or promote their white models 90% plus of the time. You go to any Instagram page, any website first, and you'll see it's just white faces. So he was just trying to let me down easy. <laughs> and another experience I have is I benefit because of colorism from my lighter complexion 100%. I acknowledge that and I try to make pathways for other people as much as I can.、Uh, but my hair is still very like Afro, African thick, curly textured hair. And that is a big problem going for auditions because they want that straight. <laughs> so it's almost seen、yeah. lesser than the further you are from these Eurocentric features.、Mm-hmm. And I remember I did an audition, and we would enter four in a room each time so we could watch the other people's auditions before us. And no offense, they were really bad. <laughs> so when I went up and I did something different,、um, the director got very excited and they took like an extra camera and they shot me from different angles. And then they were like, this is great, we really like this new approach. And then they kind of went to the side and whispered, and they said, the problem is your hair. Can you take down your hair? When I took down my hair and they saw the texture, they were like, unfortunately,、um, the hair is kind of the, the, the main issue. So, and it was a commercial for a drink, by the way. So it had absolutely、oh. nothing to do with my hair. And、oh、I remember also sitting in the audition room and Be being one of maybe two non white people.、And、like if it's a hair、yeah. product, and if it's from, you know, if、yeah. it's for Japanese hair,、yeah. which is usually straight and black, I get it. Yeah. Stan, I'm not trying to say, like, you know, why are there like, a lot of white people being used for anything to,、yeah. to enhance the physical features? I'm not saying any more, any less.、Um, but it's a drink. Commercial. Yeah, and it would have been set on like a bar. It would have been like in literally in overalls. That was the theme. We're relaxed, we're overalls. I'm, I'm a Japanese man's wife, foreign wife. And then we're like drinking the drink together. That was the thing. But the hair was an issue, which shows how people don't even recognize how standardized whiteness has become as a thing to judge others. Yes.、Us. So when they say, oh, we want this Japanese guy to have a foreign wife, and I walk in with my. You know, non European hair, and it's just like, what is this? What、yeah. is this?、Um, so, yeah, I can only imagine how much more difficult it is for others. Random ass white girl, random ass white girl, everywhere I look, there's a random ass white girl. Hi, and so, to you, the mother, the ここにいる皆さん、お時間ありがとうございます。えっと、まとめて、あの、ちょっと最後にまとめて、しゃべりたくて、えっと。何があの伝えたいかっていうとそのみんなにもっとその
考えるえなんでなんでだろうなんでなんでっていう質問をすることによってえっと新しい発見えっと新しいことが学べるっていう感じでえっとそういう風に私はアートを作っていてで私は個人的にどういう日本世界が見ていきたいかってこれから見たいかというと白人のハーフとしてえっと一つ気づいたのが有利だな私ってことに気づいて目が二重だからパッチリしてるから鼻が高いからとか肌が白いからとかなんかもうかわいいかわいいかわいいってたくさんの人に言われてきてで日本に今回帰国した時に気づいたのがあなんか土台に立ってるな私なんか嫌だなと思ってでこれから人種関係なく、えー、と性別関係なくより多くの人がこう認められる受け入れられるみんな一人一人ユニークだから美しいものみんな一人一人持ってるからそれを、えー、ともっと受け入れられる世の中になれたら嬉しいなとうちは思ってる思ってます。今日こうの意見お願いします今後日本が、うん日本のはい、うーん何だろうなねもっとでも例えば自分がこれがかっこいいとか、うん、自分はこれになりたいとかこれが好きとか思ったらそれを言,言えるだけじゃなくてそれが選択してもどうのこうの言うとか思われたらどうしようとかってならない日本になってほしいもっとなんか自信持って言えるうーんなんか例えば青と赤があって赤をみんな選んだから私も赤を選んでる方が楽みたいな世の中はなんか散々多様性多様性ってねオリンピックとかもあって言ってたのにそれをまだ赤を選ぶ国だったらそれは多様性にはなってないと思うしこれがかっこいいって思うからこういうふうにかっこいいってしとけばいいやってなってしまう社会と国はまだまだなんだろう自分の本音が言えてないって思うしその本音を言ってることをもっと海外に行ったら本音を言ってくれてありがとうっていうふうな文化があるから言いやすいけど。日本はまだまだちょっと慣れてない気がするからこそもっと本音を言うことが慣れてほしいしそれをあ本音を言ってくれてありがとうって気づいてくれるな,なんて言うだろうなそういう距離感る感覚が当たり前になってほしいなって思う、うん、で私はなんかすごいあの同じだしでそのみんなに分かってもらいたいのがその日本が外国と一緒になるとかそういう意味じゃなくてそのいろんな人が世の中にいる。でコロナが落ち着くことによってた多分たくさんの人がまた日本に戻ってくるでそれを何て言うんだろう見た目が違くても受け入れられるで、えー、とたくさんなんか見せられているあの同じ例えば白人の人がたくさん見,られてる見せられているで常に見てるから当たり前じゃん綺麗なの当たり前じゃんそういうコメントもたくさんもらって、えー、とでもそれがあなたの意見だったらいいんだけどでもあのうん、な,なんでそうこれが美人と思ったのかなとかそのなんでっていうのをまた自分の意見言っちゃってごめん,<笑>なんか言いたくなっちゃった<笑>と思ってて、えー、とじゃあフランキー、um, If you can like give me like a, a paragraph of how you would like Japan specifically to change for sure So of course Japan should have largely Japanese models and talents but I think it's important For a country like Japan to be exposed to other races and ethnicities、mm. and cultures, because without that exposure, it creates a breeding ground for negative stereotypes to be reinforced. And I think、uh, it allows more opportunities for peaceful interactions、mm. uh, and more respectful interactions between races and ethnicities and instead of just whiteness being normalized in our homes, in our relationships, in our jobs. So I think. Japan could benefit from looking at the statistics. There are less than 3% of foreigners in Japan, and the majority of those foreigners are not people with Eurocentric features. Yet, the majority of foreigners that represent <laughs> the modeling market in Japan are these people with Eurocentric features.、Yeah. So, I would love to see、uh, more peace between yes, the cultures、absolutely. and races, and media plays a big role in that. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and on that note, 
、えー、もう<笑>トゥワールドピーストゥワールドピースすみませんすみませんすみません飲む飲む飲む飲む飲む飲む飲む飲む飲む飲む飲む飲む飲む飲む飲む飲楽しみに待っててください。えっとたくさんの人が TikTok の方でコメントをくれて、えっと本当に心から感謝していて、一人一人の意見まあすごく大切で、えっとあなたの意見っていうものをあの私はこう思うからっていうのをあのなくしてほしくない。えー、でもあの他の人のコメントを読んで、あもしかしたら私の思ってたこと間違ってるかもしれないとかそういう新たな発見があることをえっと。そういうものをあの願っててアーティストとしてやっぱりより多くの人をつなげることより多くの人を新しい考えを紹介することそれが私の役目だって分かっているので、えー、と今後私の活動キホコフランキーの活動をみんなフォローして応援してね<笑>バイバイ<笑>こっちでーすこっちでーすマジ意味不明なんだけど。Random ass white girl, random ass white girl. Everywhere I look, there's a random ass white girl. なんでこんなにもいるの ?Random ass white girl, random ass white girl. Everywhere I look, there's a random ass white girl. 自分のままでいいんだよ。